My name, my name is Thomas Hale from the Aqua team. Uh, my team members are Tommy, Tim, and Trent. And we have the very exciting voltage system. A little bit of what I'm going to go over. I'm going to talk about our system, um, go through the background, some of the things that we've already talked about in this, this semester so far. And then we're going to talk about the proportional controllers, and then I'll end with the conclusion. Here is a, um, a block diagram of our um, of the system. We have the, the input um, going into the system to give us the, the output. And here we have the um, a picture of the the motor and DC generator, and then the the lights that sh give a, a visual representation of, of the um, what's happening. Here's a picture of our, our SSOC. Um, you'll notice that ours is not linear, and we um, divided our, our system up into four regions, doing the best we can to make it easier to, um, I guess, get steady results for each of the, each of the regions. So we have, from here, 0% um, to 50% is one region, and you can see that there's just a little bit of a, a voltage gain with those. The next region is from 50% to 70%, and you'll notice that that, that is not linear at all. In fact, it's, there's a, quite a, a steep curve there. And then from 70% to 80%, it straightens out a little bit. And then from 80 to 85%, um, it's kind of hard to see in this, in this graph, but the, the slope there is slightly less than, than it is in this region right here. You'll notice, because our SSOC is shaped this way, there will be, and I'll point out lots of um, differences in some of the results that we get through, that we've gotten throughout the semester. And a lot of our differences happen in this lower region where there's very little gain, and then in this middle region here where it is not linear, but rather it curves up like that. This is a, an example of a step, step up response. Um, my region was the zero to 50% um, input, and so this is this is one of mine. It um, was nicer to me than some of the some of the other ones. Um, as you can see, we got here uh, our um, the gain of 0 0.05. So from our from the SSOC, you could you um, I pointed out that the that the increase in voltage was very small for how much input we gave, and as as that showed us, the, the gain was really small. Here's an example of one of the, the, step, up, the step responses that wasn't um, so nice to us. As you can see, with a lot of the step ups, what's expected, or what, what we should want, um, is for it to come up and level out um, earlier, earlier than this so that we have a smaller time constant. You'll notice that right here, the tau, the time constant, is rather large. This, is, this comes from the, the region from 50% to 70%, and it took a while for it to level out, and that's why our, the tau is so large. Here is um, a chart showing the, the gains for each of our, um, for each of the step ups and step downs for, for each of the regions. As um, you can see right here, the, um, the lower region where there was um, very small voltage increase has the smallest gain. Everything else is fairly um, stable, especially up here in the, in the upper end of, the, of our SSOC. Here's, some, here's the, the dead time. Um, and again, in that, in that lower region, we have a lot higher dead time. But everywhere else, it's fairly small. This is all gotten from the, from the step responses. And then here is the tau. This right here is our largest tau. It actually goes up to, as I pointed out before, um, it goes up to 15. And so other than this one right here, this goes off the chart. They all stay close to or below 1.
Here's a picture of uh, the sine waves. And then from that, we got our Bode diagrams. It showed us um, where we got the, the KCU and the, the FU and the K. Here are a few of those from our different regions. This one's from the 70 to 80 percent. And this one from the 50 percent to 70 percent. Here are some of the results from, the, from those diagrams that we got. Um, again, this lower region right here has the lowest gain, um, as we saw from the, from the step up or the, um, experiment. Everything else was somewhat close to each other. And then our tau, again, we see that this middle, this middle region had a higher tau than the rest of them. And so that's at least staying consistent. And then our, our dead time, um, this is one that was not as consistent. But the dead time is higher with this one as with, than it was with the other ones. Going over to our root locus um, plots, um, all of the KC values are percent per volts. And so we have here the different um, KC values um, at 0% at 45%, 70%, or sorry, um, degrees as you move up, 70 degrees, 78 degrees, and then 90 degrees. Um, and you can see that as, as, the, uh, as the angle increases, the KC value increases. So that, that previous one was, this is from the 0 to 50%. Here's from the 50 to 70 percent, the 70 to 80 percent, the 80 to 85 percent, and then here's a, a chart showing the, all of the KC values that we got. Um, in the lower region, where the K was the, the smallest, our KC values are the largest, something that I found interesting. Uh, but other than, other than that lower region, they stay pretty... Uh, the, the KC values stayed pretty low. Um, but as, as I pointed out with the, with the root locus plot, as, the, as we move along, the KC values do increase, and that happens with each of the, with each of the regions. Moving on to the proportional controllers. Um, these are taken from, from my region, from the 0 to 50% input. Um, first, we have the, the critically damped. Um, which uh, is, you can tell that it's critically damped because there's no oscillation at all. It goes up and stuck and stays steady from there on. Um, there's no overshoot, but there is a lot of offset. Um, so the KC value of critically damped, critically damped is uh, 6.1, and we have an offset of 1.5 volts. It took about one, one second to settle. And then the 1 500th decay, the K, my KC value is 18% 8, per volts. Uh, took, once again, about a second to settle, and with an offset of 1.1 volts. Staying with the same region, 0 to 50%. Um, this is 10th decay. KC value of 46% per volt, and the settling time of about 1.5 seconds, so it took a little bit longer to settle there. And the offset is lower, um, 0 0.6 volts. And then the quarter decay, you can see that there's a lot more um, overshoot. KC is 61% per volt. Um, the settling time of 2.4 seconds, and the offset of 0 0.5 volts. And then finally, we have the marginal stability, the ultimate. Um, my KC value for that was 93% per volt. Um, it never settles, it stays oscillatory the whole time. And the, off, uh, the average offset, though I don't know that you could really claim that, it's a, that it averages out, but the average offset of all that is about 0 0.3 volts.